I got everything. You got everything? Nope, Can you hear it? We're going for a tractor ride. We're going to check on our corn on the tractor. We have this handy dandy radio that we're going to try out. This company, Sun Life, sent us this radio and said, would you like to review it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. It's upside down in the box though. We had it out. It's actually a nice little radio. We've been playing with it for oh, about two weeks now. We're gonna take it out to the wilderness and try it. Okay, the wilderness. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Wonder if Rob will let me drive. Yeah, let's see. Ready? Come on. Oh, the seat's wet. Oh my. It just rained, by the way. All right, how do I do this? Here. All right. Ready? Yeah. It's not going anywhere. You just said steer. Oh. All right. Put a pedal over here for gas. No, no, that was the brake. Yeah, there you go. This one? The other one. This the one. little one. So that one. Okay, here we go. See that? There's a coyote there Rob brought out here. It was in the Walmart. Those of you that don't know what the Walmart is, it's the garage. Our first, our first cornfield was a bust. If you go back, we hand planted corn. That would, that was a lot of work for it to be like a bust. But we learned. I think it was too cold. That's what I think. So Rob kind of just this tiny little area out here planted. And I'm trying to get there. It's all like freaking muddy. But the corn is like swimming in the mud now. I'll show you. There's a row. I think I just stepped on one. Okay. There's some more. But yeah. You get the... Look at these ferns. I think I'm going to pick some of those and take them home. I think I'm going to do that. Yep, I'm going to do that. But the deer, and we knew, we kind of figured the deer would come out here and eat it. They're feasting. See? They're eating some of the top off. See that? So it's like Thanksgiving out here for the animals. <laughs> there, there you go. We'll see what happens. We'll keep you updated on the corn. That, yeah, that's Rob spraying. What are you spraying? Like deer off or? Called Critter Ritter. Critter Ritter. Deer and rabbit repellent. Okay, well, maybe that will work. Maybe it won't. It is supposed to rain tonight. A lot. We're getting storms in our area now. But yeah, there he goes. We're going to try to rid the. It, what? Even though they're eating the tops off, it's still growing. Okay. So. Ooh. This was down on the ground earlier, so it's still growing, so it's a good time. All right, well, thing. you're awfully close. Let me fix this. Oh, there we go. That stuff really smells bad. Yeah, it does. That's the idea, though. It smells like poop. 
It smells awful. It smells like worse than poop. Did I? What? I'm trying not to fall in this water. Uh -oh. What? Oh, geez. Now let's go look. He's found something. Come dug in up. There's a track I just. All right. Coming. What? Oh. That, that is not, that's not a uh, pumpkin, or it's a different, different kind of pumpkin. Oh, you planted some pumpkins out here. Whatever we had in the garden, this is what we planted. Oh, I think those are the watermelon. I, the watermelon or somebody ate that one. dug that one up. All right, well, that, that one they haven't gotten to yet. This one they haven't got. I wonder what that same. is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Is that a watermelon? They're Maybe. Not over here, so. Well, they might be watermelon. That one didn't make it. Rob planted them. You didn't label them? No, I didn't. La I dug them out of the garden and wasn't labeled. Them. <laughs> Poor Rob. That's what we say a lot. All right. Well, this stuff smells like... Yes, it does stink. Like poop in a sewer plant that's mixed in a garbage hole. <laughs> that's what this smells like. Just saying. Just saying. This, I think, is watermelon. Somebody in the comments, can you tell me what that is? That? Because we have that growing in our house, too. Okay, and that. I'm not sure what that is. That might be a squash or zucchini or I don't know what that is. Pumpkin. I have no idea. But does it really matter? You know they're gonna probably eat the ears of corn. Now I'm walking out through this stink. What, what is wrong with me? How do I get away from this? It smells terrible. It's like sewage in, a, in hell, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna like head back over here because that smells ter terrible. It's really terrible. Okay, we'll just, I'm just gonna sit on this dirty Oh, watch it put that right in my boot. Good job, Michelle. All right, we'll watch him from here. What are you doing? Spraying the outside area. Oh. Wonder if we could spray this on the chair that the cat's scratching on. Never mind, I don't, that would be in the living room. Oh boy, that would be bad. Please do don't, do now? don't spray me, please. On the cat what? I said, I wonder if we could spray it on the chair in the living room that the cat likes to scratch at, our brand new chair that the cat is, cat is like. I think that chair is ruined, and I would say no, because I don't want this in the house. Well, that's what I just said. It would stink up the whole freaking house. Why now is it? I want to move my. Your animal? My animal. Make sure they think that he's moving around there. All right, you guys, like, see that animal? Rob has actually brought that thing in the house and put it right in the doorway for so when I walk through it I it just scares the living daylights out of me he also has geese and other things in the Walmart probably should have brought a whole flock out we have a flock we could have brought the flock out here although we did sell some at a garage sale because we had like 30 of them also I put my Deer cam, my truck cam out here so I can. Oh, we're gonna watch it. Did you just happening. put it out here or, or? Huh? I just now put it out. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go turn it on as soon as we're done here. Okay. Nice shirt. You like that? My wife got it for me. The Amazon. I bought that from the Amazon. The Amazon. And the, yeah. pants. and the pants. Oh, and his pants too. Yeah. Late night shopping. Couldn't combine, sleep. Combine the oh. long boots. The sexy legs and his sexy shorts and yeah. I'm all sexied up. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We're done here. What you got there? Well, we got a emergency Ooh. survival 
radio that we're going to check out. We've been playing with it for the last I've couple weeks. Well, it's kind of kinda cool. Checking things out. And it's kind of nice. A lot of features on it that I've seen so far. I haven't really actually had it outside in the in the wilderness. In the wilderness. This is the wilderness, by this the is, way. This is the wilderness. <laughs> this is the wilderness. Uh, here's my destruction manual. Uh, oh, right I dropped it. Okay. Dropped it in the water. Yeah, here's the uh, here's the radio. Here's the radio. Now what I what I did see is it's got several more features on it. You could run with the AM. Oh well, that it can batteries. Oh jeez. Takes three AA batteries, which there's not in there. You can see. Okay. Okay, three AA batteries or lithium ion. Okay. So you see the feature where it says lithium ion and batteries. Okay. Where the solar panel is. There is a light. That I think that's pretty cool. That's like a reading like a light. Like a reading light or an area light that you want to do something if you're sitting uh, camped, if you're camping or whatever, you want to see a little light, flip your thing up, turn it around, you can angle it down, see where you got to go. Okay. As soon as you close, it goes away. It's kind of like a refrigerator light. <laughs> Here's your antenna. Here's you're your antenna goofball. for your radio. Here's your goofball. Huh? I said you're a goofball. Okay, here's your antenna. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, it's water. I shut the camera off by accident. He dropped it in the water. It's waterproof. Oh. I think we missed that because you know what? I shut the camera off by accident. But, oh, you're going to drop it again for us? Okay. Okay. Now, this is ground. I mean, this isn't pavement or anything like that. I get that. It's a safe thing. Yeah. It's got, it's got, it's got rubber or plastic or like a hard plastic rubber on the outside. So, it's very durable. Okay. What about this radio business? It's now, got... radio has got... Get my radio setting here. It's got three settings here: SOS, off, and then radio settings. Radio settings. It has weather band, FM, or AM. Here's your little antennae. I'll tell you what. Put your little antennae up. We just went through a really bad storm, and we had the radio, the weather radio on, and it was it, it was really interesting. It was pretty good. I, I okay. This is a weather band. That. Okay, we're gonna turn it on here. Tony. With a temperature of 82 so that was really nice to have when when it was when the weather was bad yeah this is northeast ohio so this also has a crank on it yes i'll show you that too uh am fm pm pm he said pm you mean fm yeah pm am fm bam there's the FM radio, that's pretty good. That has a good signal. All right. Actually, it picked up several channels with the solar light, or the solar panel, which charges to the sun, naturally. It also has a crank. So like at night, or in an area where you're not getting much sun, you can you turn this thing down here. I don't want that my way. There's lots of bugs out bugs. here today. Okay, you can crank it up. Okay, that's how you charge it. Also, it's got a flashlight on it. Pretty good. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nice. Okay, that's kind of cool. Tuning, radio, flashlight, SOS. Now, also in the back, it has a charging port for like your phone. So like if you want to charge your phone up, you put your your USB there. It comes with a, comes USB, with a USB cord. Port. It comes, comes with a USB cable. So you can get all the cables. Put your USB plug in here. Now you can. It comes with this one, but you also can put yours in there. Yes. That goes. Now with I said your... this one here is for most phones, but like you get all, like all your smartphones, smartphones, iPhones, like my phone. This won't won't work but my cable that i use to charge my phone at home will work for this it's a usb port anything usb port you can put in and charge so i can, I can charge my phone with this thing actually yeah that's a nice thing about this because if something would happen oops if something would happen and you lose power you can charge well, your phone back, back several years ago we had a big tornado come through here and um you had a f5 tornado through northeast ohio 
and it took out a lot of power. Right. People were out of power for weeks, weeks on end without any power. Phones, cable, all communication cables were down. And uh, CB radios was popular and survival radios like this were yeah. popular. That's the only thing you had to, for, for listening to weather information. Um, I like this thing. It's, it's kind of cool. The cost. It's around twenty dollars, I think. Yeah, I mean yeah. for twenty for twenty bucks, I would pay. I'd, I'd pay that. I'd pay that all day. Now, in our description, I'll leave a link to the radio, and uh, there's a code. There's a there's a discount code yes. in our description. Anyways, like the video. In the description. In the description, we'll find all the information for the radio and how to order it, how to buy it if you're if you're interested in it. In the United States, and there's a link for Canada. I'll post both. All right. There you go. There you go. And we will see you next we time. We will see you next time on our video. All right. Have a nice evening. Evening. Whatever we got left.